this video is going to be pretty short because I didn't have a word for a couple of days. And I got on IG and the Holy Spirit gave me a word. It was a heartfelt word I want to give you all because not only did I go through this, a lot of y'all go through this. A lot of y'all don't understand why your life is going down, down and down. I'm here to tell you guys, if there's so much going on in your life, you're supposed to run in Jesus. When the snares of the enemy have access to your life, you have gone that far away from Christ Jesus and God has taken his hands off your life and that is called the wrath of God when your tire popped and then it popped again the next week or that same month that is not a coincidence that is the wrath of God because God sometimes give you over to the enemy so that way and this is called love when your child do something bad what do you do? You whoop them because if you don't whoop your your child, they're going to grow up and feel obligated to keep doing evil because there's no discipline. So what the father does, he loves us so much. He allows us to live our life called free will. He allows us to live our life. And while we are allowed to live our life, we're living in sin because the penalty of sin is what? Death. So what he does is he hands us over to the enemy and allow the enemy to have full access to our life finances relationships and there's so many of you guys i just watched this one it really got motivated i got not motivated to do this message but the holy spirit spoke to me and really was talking to me it was like are you going to allow people to keep not knowing the truth and i felt the pressure of doing this video because it was this one girl she lost everything i mean her baby father left her with two kids and they went one like they were social media influencers i don't know why i was compelled to look at this girl's story but she had two little girls and she was going strong. And as I looked at her story, she gave her life to Jesus. And then she, after that couple of slides, she just looked so happy. And it was like, Jesus I didn't allow this to happen. But in a way, she made it. The circumstances forced her to go to Jesus. And I'm here to tell you guys, because this video is reaching you. Yes, you, Dominique. Yes, if your name is Dominique, yes. You, Tiffany. You, Brian. You, Samantha, anybody that's just watching this video, the Holy Spirit won't you. It wasn't a coincidence. Yes. You that's struggling through mental issues because you've been trying to fit in for too long. You that's been trying to find your identity and all the wrong reasons. This video is for you. A lot of y'all that's watching this video, even on IG, if this video reaches you, it's for a purpose. If you're even watching this long, a lot of people don't watch IG videos longer than 30 seconds. That means that pull on your heart is the Holy Spirit. God, the Father, Jesus Christ himself wants you to listen to this message. And I want you to share this message for the people that's on YouTube. Share this link everywhere because we live in a time where we don't see the clear indications that we need to run to our Savior. We keep doing stuff our way. And I'm here to tell y'all, y'all looking at somebody that's done things this way for years. And the devil gave me money. Money does not mean you are in good standard with Christ the Father, Jesus Christ. Platform, it doesn't mean anything. All that does is hide. It's harder for a rich man to get to heaven because we are blinded by our success. But somebody that's working a nine to five is easier because they don't have much. And you, everybody have to come to the end of their self. And y'all looking at somebody that's seen hell, that had it all, beautiful wife, green eyes, pretty kids. Not nothing wrong with them. No autism. Nothing. Beautiful life. I'm driving an SRT, as y'all can see. Still got it blessed beyond measures. But I felt empty because my heart, my spirit was longing for a creator. And that creator was Jesus. So I'm telling y'all here right now, if a lot of y'all are going through stuff and y'all wonder why y'all can't get by in life, you drinking, you smoking, and your relationship, your marriage, everything is coming crashing down. It's because you had gone that far from the Father. And the only way you can come back to the Father if this happens. I hate to say it. And then you have to come to the end of yourself. You have to godly sorrow repent. Godly sorrow means you are so tired of all that stress, all that pain. You crying out to Jesus. Jesus, I want my life back. I, I repent. And he's going to, boom, you heard that not. He's going to answer me. I'm here to tell you guys. It's no other way. It's no other way. 
And the grace only lasts so long because the enemy, while he have access to you, he not only want to take you out, he not only want to steal, kill, and destroy, he is coming from your generations. So the devil is allowed to do this because he have legal access and legal access because you told God that you didn't want him. You, you done it. And God had told you plenty of times to stop. So God allowed you. He hand you over. There you go, son. There you go, daughter. I love you so much. I gave you free will. Go. And the devil and these demons are running rampage in your mind. They're running rampage in your career. They're running rampage in even your cars. Your kids are suffering because of your decisions. And I'm here to tell y'all, cry out to Jesus. Because Jesus is the only true living God that has set you free. No Allah. No Buddha. None of these other religions, they even talk back to you. No. Jesus talks back to you. How you know Jesus is the true living God? Because he talks back to you. That's how we know the Bible is true living. The Quran, Buddha never even talked to y'all. Um, Allah never talked to y'all. So how do y'all know that's even real? Jesus have a personal relationship. That's love. I felt that love. I felt that presence. I'm telling y'all. This ain't to get in no debate. This message is across. I said that because it's going to be some of y'all watching this. And Jesus is pulling on your heart. Yeah. Y'all too. Buddha, Quran, Hindu. Yes. Jesus is pulling y'all. That's why y'all watching this video still. Tyrone that's watching. Yes. Ebony. You're watching this. Yes. Shaniqua. You're watching this. These ain't made up names. If y'all. If, if, if I'm right. Which I know I am. Comment down below. When y'all hear this message. Comment down below and DM me. Y'all been feeling that pain that's been around you. Right now, I even hear the Holy Spirit telling me there's two people right now that need prayer. And I think they're related. It's two people right now that's related. It's two people that needs prayer because they've been going through such a battle, a rough time in their life. It's a mom right now that have children that she can't pay the bills and she's ready to give up. God heard your prayers. You've seen this video for a reason. And he's saying, keep trusting in him. Y'all got to forgive and keep trusting. I love y'all. If you want to give your life to Christ, this is the end of the video. If you want to give your life to Christ and you done feeling empty, it's somebody right now that's feeling empty, that's ready to throw in the towels, that's been praying to God and say, I haven't heard nothing from God. Well, this is it. Don't take this video lightly. This is the video that God is talking through you about too. I'm not a God. I'm just a vessel. Because he showed you signs, but this is a clear sign. Yes, you that's feeling empty, that prayed yesterday and said, God, show me a sign. This is your sign. And I'm here to tell y'all, if you want to give your life to Christ, because nobody comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Believe Jesus died on the cross with your heart and believe he was risen on the third day. And ask God for forgiveness, repent of all your sins, and you will be saved. I love y'all. Share this message. Peace.